Hello everyone, welcome back to your favorite channel, Loris Places and People. Today we are going to focus on the economy of Canada. Canada has a population of 40 million and a highly developed mixed economy. As of 2023, Canada has the world's ninth largest economy with a nominal gross domestic product of $2 trillion and the per capita gross domestic product is $54,000. The major economic centers in Canada include Toronto, Vancouver, Montreal, Ottawa, Calgary, Edmonton, Regina, and Winnipeg. Toronto is the largest city in Canada and the most important economic center. Toronto has a population of 2,600,000 people and 6 million people in the entire Toronto metropolitan region. The Toronto Stock Exchange is the seventh largest in the world with listings of more than 3,000 companies and a market capitalization of $3 trillion. Major economic sectors in the Canadian economy include real estate, which contributes 13% to the gross domestic product of Canada. Most of the real estate in Canada is owned by individuals, families, trusts and corporations. The most significant larger corporations involved in real estate development include Choice Properties Real Estate Investment Trust which has a market capitalization of $7 billion, First Service Corporation with a market capitalization of $6 billion, $900 million, Canadian Apartment Properties Real Estate Investment Trust with $6.5 billion, Colliers International Group and Ryokan Real Estate Investment Trust, each having a market capitalization of $4.5 billion. Manufacturing is a core sector of the Canadian economy contributing up to 11% of the gross domestic product. Goods from this sector include machinery, engines, and machinery components for automobiles, agricultural machinery, and factories. Canadian firms like Linamar Corporation and Magna International have branch plants for all the major American and Japanese car brands located in central Canada producing automobile parts. Canada has a sizable manufacturing sector centered in southern Ontario and Quebec, with automobiles and aeronautics representing particularly important industries. Mining which includes oil and gas extraction and refining is a mainstay of the Canadian economy and contributes 10% of the gross domestic product. Canada is one of the few developed nations that are net exporters of energy. The Atlantic coast of Canada possesses vast offshore deposits of natural gas, while Alberta hosts the fourth largest oil reserves in the world. The vast Athabasca oil sands and other oil reserves give Canada 13% of global oil reserves, constituting the world's third or fourth largest. The country is also a leading exporter of zinc, uranium, gold, nickel, platinoids, titanium, aluminum, steel, iron ore, coking coal, lead, copper, molybdenum, cobalt, and cadmium. Finance and insurance contribute 7% to Canada's gross domestic product. In the finance sector, Canada has a strong cooperative banking sector, with the world's highest per capita membership in credit unions. The most significant financial corporations and institutions in Canada include Royal Bank of Canada which has a market capitalization of $135 billion and is also the largest corporation in Canada. Toronto Dominion Bank which is the second largest in Canada and has a market capitalization of $120 billion. Bank of Montreal comes in third with $64 billion and Bank of Nova Scotia comes in fourth with $58 billion of market capitalization. Manulife Financial Corporation and Sunlife Financial Incorporated are both insurance companies with market capitalizations of $34 and $30 billion respectively. Other major sectors in the Canadian economy are 
the construction industry and its affiliated services. Construction contributes 7% of the entire gross domestic product. Major companies in the construction sector include Atkins Realis formerly SNC Lavalin and PCL Construction which had revenues of over 7 billion in 2022, Ellis Don Corporation which had revenues of $4,900,000,000, Graham Construction, Acon Group and Ledcor Group which all had revenues of $3 billion. Wholesale trade, retail trade, and healthcare each contribute 6% to the gross domestic product, while agriculture contributes 2%. Canada is one of the world's largest suppliers of agricultural products. The Canadian Prairies region is one of the most important global producers of wheat, canola, and other grains. In international trade, Canada exported $700 billion worth of goods in 2022 with major export destinations being the United States of America taking 76% of all Canadian exports, the European Union taking 8% of all Canadian exports, China taking 4%, Japan taking 2% and Mexico taking 1.5%. Export goods included, automobiles and automobile parts, aircraft, industrial machinery, telecommunication equipment, crude petroleum, petroleum products, chemicals, wood, pulp, timber, and grains. Canada imported $650 billion worth of goods of which 50% came from the United States of America, 12% from China, 11% from the European Union, 6% from Mexico, and 3% from Japan. The successes of Canada's international trade can be attributed to the free trade agreements Canada has with the United States and Mexico called NAFTA. The other significant free trade agreements with the European Union, CEFTA, and the Comprehensive Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership which came into effect on December 30, 2018 and includes countries like Peru, Australia, Japan, Malaysia, Singapore, Chile, Mexico, Brunei, Vietnam and New Zealand. As of August 2023, the country has 86 billion in foreign exchange reserves, a debt-to-GDP rate of 106%, and a national debt of $1,376,000,000,000. dollars. In 2022 Canada had GDP growth of 1.5%, with consumer price index inflation of 6.8%. In the same year, Canada had a trade surplus of 21 billion 800 million Canadian dollars. That's all for today. Thank you all for watching and remember to subscribe, click the notification bell and like the videos.